What's up, everybody? CIJ Gaming Jason here, and welcome to the channel's first ever mod showcase. Now, I'm using the Technic launcher because Brandon still hasn't told me how to install Mod Loader. Yippee! But anyway, this is the coolest mod I have ever seen, and it is obviously my favorite because who is not a hu a Whovian if you have seen the show? This is the Dalek mod, and if I ever do a, Dal a mod showcase again, I'm not going to usually start it out like this. I'll probably start it out with maybe a little bit of a skit or something along those lines, but this is just such a cool main menu. This is so cool. Now, there is a Dalek mod server, but I cannot see... Oh. Well, I wasn't able to connect to it before. Um, I still don't seem to be able to connect to it, really. Um, but anyway, there's still multiplayer, but single player is where is where it's at. Obviously. So, let me just set spawn. Uh, modify a couple of things. No, no, I want that to normal. Max FPS. Okay. And here we are. So this is the Dalek mod show. Case the Dalek mod. It's not the Doctor Who mod. And uh, as I said, I am using Technic, so I'm not going to put a description. A um, <laughs> I'm just not going to put a description. Not going to get let you guys know what I'm doing. No, I'm not going to put a link to the mod because it's a Technic. It's a it's a Technic thing. It's it's a Technic um mod pack. So yeah, I'm also not going to be showing you any craft crafting recipes because this. Uh, mod pack doesn't come with, um, doesn't come with too many items, so I can't find them, and I'm too lazy to go to the, <laughs> um, too lazy to go to the forums, because I just can't figure out how. But, uh, I'll be right back while I figure out how to, um, get to the forums, and if I can't figure it out, I will, uh, you know, still not show you the crafting recipes. Okay, guys, um, I couldn't find the forums, I don't can't figure out how, so let's get this thing started. So first we got the gadgets. The Nitro 9, Time Vortex Manipulator, Sonic Blaster, and a bunch of Sonic Screwdrivers, which are, of course, the best. Now, we're gonna go over here to test out the Nitro 9, which is basically, sorta, C4. On a basic scale. It is C- oh, wow. Okay. Okay, then. Let's just... Yeah, see? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Piggy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> now... I'm gonna save the Time Vortex Manipulator la for later when I show you the multiple worlds. Oh yeah, this is a very big mod, so expect a long, long video. This isn't even everything that I'm going to show you. I don't even have everything out that I'm going to show you guys. It's going to be a long video. I'm just showing you some of my favorite things. I, mean, I have most of the things. I'm just going to... But, like, the mobs. I don't have all the mobs because there's a bunch. I have the most... The main ones, though. Okay, anyway. This is the Sonic Blaster, and it does exactly what it does in the show. You shoot it at a block within your range, and it brings it up. I will take all the grass. There will be no grass left in the world. Must make it even. And that just gives you basically everything that you need. So let's go put that back in the, uh... Back in the chest. Next are all the Sonic Screwdrivers. Now I'm gonna show you how each one works, how powerful it is, and, um... The sound it makes. So this one is... They don't give the actual dates, and they used to have all the, all of them. But it doesn't have every single one anymore. For some reason but whatever. This is one of the Sonic Screwdrivers. Doesn't say which, and I don't know which. I know that this is the 9th and 10th, and this is the 11th. I think this is the 3rd or something. But anyway. Uh, didn't used to keep it on, but uh, yeah, this one's... And it, you know, can open the door. And it's... I can't turn it off. There we go. Have to use a different one to turn it off. That's the downside of that one. But as you can see, it's... 
got a deep, deep sound. So let's put that away. This is the next honor screwdriver. I know that this one's more well known. Oh, yeah, and there are also these things that keep exploding. I don't know what they are. I can't figure out what they are. I don't know what they are. I don't intend to know what they are. I don't intend to find out what they are. Sorry, but anyway, this one's a little bit more well-known, and as you can see, though, these all have 3D models when you hold them instead of other Minecraft things, which are all just 2D models. These are really cool. But anyway, this one's a very deep sound. And it still can't turn them off. But, you know, does everything another Sonic Screwdriver does. This is the 11th Dr. Sonic Driver, also the most recent one. I think. You know, a pretty decent noise. It can turn them on and off and can open and close the doors. Uh, time set zero. So let's put that one away. And now the 10th Dr. Sonic Screwdriver, my personal favorite, can turn them on and off. No, turn on. And can open and close doors. Just like you would expect the Sonic Screwdriver to be able to. Now, that's all the gadgets in the mod. It's all over here. You know, gadgets. That's all the uh, gadgets. That's all the gadgets. We move on to clothing. So, first we have... The Fez. I'm wearing a fez. Okay. <laughs> it it's got it it it's awesome. It's I'm a fez. Love me. Okay. Anyway, that's the fez. I'm wearing a gas mask now. Are you my mummy? No, you're not my mother. I don't want you to be my mother. This is... What do I, yeah, I put that there. This is the fourth doctor's scarf. Hello, Mr. Sheep. How are you? Cutie. Uh, this is the seventh doctor's hat, apparently. And, oh. You think you're so cool? Sheep? Yeah, get out of here. Jerk. Anyway, this is a Seventh Doctor's hat, and it looks sort of like a sombrero. And, uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say about that one. Bowtie. Bowties are cool! Okay. Now that we've established that bowties are cool, we get to the Tenth Doctor's glasses! Yay! Yay. I'm gonna be smart. SMART! Okay. Um, also, there's this one episode, or a few episodes, actually, where the Tenth Doctor kind of goes nuts and wears 3D glasses. Yeah. This is Ace's jacket. Ace. I don't know who Ace is. I started the... You look really fat in it. That's all you have to know. You're, you're fat. Now, this is my personal favorite. Exterminate. Ah, I'm a Dalek. Nya nya nya. Exterminate. Oh my god. You don't have arms anymore when you wear this one. I'm a flying Dalek. <coughs> Fear me. And also. Pew pew Exterminate. Okay, yeah, so that's... Oh, yeah, it gives you Invisibility 3, which is kind of cool. And there, that's the Dalek. That's all the clothing. Well, that's all the clothing that I was able to take in my inventory, at that point, at least. Okay. So now we have the Sixth Doctor's jacket, which basically also makes you fat, and has a little bit of a glitch when you punch, I guess. I wonder... Yeah, it, you don't even see it, where you wearing it on, on your... Uh, where, where did I break a block? There. I broke a block right there. I'm sorry, block, I failed you. Anyway, it makes you fat also, and, uh, it just looks all overall really weird. So, uh, yeah.
Now you have the doctor's cloak. You look so, so badass in it. It's kind of strange looking, though. I mean, it's not the best model, but it's cool. I don't, I don't know what this is. Oh, what the, what? What the heck is this? What the, I, I've never seen this. I'm only on season four right now. I don't know what that is. Anyway, this is a top hat. I am Abraham Lincoln. Ba da ba ba ba. Ba ba. Okay. Um. That's that's all the clothing. <laughs> Finally, I felt really awkward putting all those on. None of you are my mother, so you're not allowed to see me changing. Oh, you did. Now we get to move on to some of the cooler stuff. Other than, you know, the Sonic Screwdrivers, which are cool. All the blocks that you can find inside the TARDISes, and yes, we will be definitely going into the TARDIS. I would never not do it. Anyway, this is a bookshelf, but it's a really cool model! Oh, it's so cool. It's all 3D and stuff. Oh, it's so awesome. The TARDIS floor that you see in the 10th Doctor's and the 9th Doctor's TARDIS. It's got a really nice walking sound. I really like it. Doesn't really have a breaking sound, though. Anyway, this is the TARDIS roundel, the walls that you see on the Night Doctor's TARDIS. Also got a nice walking sound, sounds like you're walking on stone. This is the TARDIS monitor. This is the one that you see going from the glass on the ceiling. And it shows Gallifrey, or Gallifrey and stuff. The TARDIS door interior, the door you see from the inside of the TARDIS. Pretty self-explanatory. Another TARDIS monitor, the one that you just see, you know, on the on the actual panel itself. This is the wall of the 11th Doctor's TARDIS. It's pretty cool. Now, the TARDIS lamp is just exactly what it says. It's a lamp on the TARDIS. The wall on the TARDIS. And it doesn't really actually emit that much light, if any. I can't really tell. But it's still pretty cool. This is a classic TARDIS wall. It's also categorized as round things on the original TARDIS, apparently. And then there's one that's just a full circle. So you can make kind of cool things with that. That's what you see on the original TARDIS, though. So let's put all those back. You'll see them later when I show the off the actual TARDISes. Okay, now we get to some of the cool blocks in the mod. There are more blocks I didn't put in there because it's in um, a different dimension called the uh, Classic Dimension or something like that. It's basically all the blocks from the original Minecraft called Cave Game that Notch made originally, which is a really stupid name. Anyway, this is Rock. Say hello to Rock. It's our pet Rock, and it's going to stay there forever. Anyway. This is granite, which I think could have te personally been textured better, but, I mean, that's just me. Now, this is Gallifrey grass, the grass that you see in Gallifrey, over the burnt orange sky, which is so awesome. I just, I just think that's really great. And then the Gallifrey dirt, of course, you can't have Gallifrey grass without Gallifrey dirt. And now the Gallifrey leaves, the leaves on the trees, the silver leaves on the trees that the Doctor reminisces about. I can't remember what who. The Gallifrey stone, that's not just a rock. But I love you, rock. I love you. Hello, rock. Anyway, this is Gallifrey sand, the sand, obviously, that you see on the beaches, which is, it's really pink, and pink is a nice color. Now here's Scarrow stone, the stone, and Scarrow is the home world of the Daleks. And this is the stone you find on Scarrow, and it's kind of strange looking, honestly. But, uh, yeah, it's just my opinion. And then the sand that you find on Scarrow is kind of just a lighter version of that. But, I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess. It's not exactly how I would have textured these things, but, I mean, that's just me. Got a few more here. Okay, this is a gravestone. I don't know where this comes into play. But they, 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 they can be different, obviously, when you place them down. There's a couple different ones. Yeah, like, I don't know who Rof Rufus is yet, because I'm still on Season 4. 
and I'm really upset because I'm halfway through the episode where the doctor finally meets back up with Rose, but I probably just spoiled something from you. Spoiler alert! Anyway, you guys know the uh, things that Daleks are made out of, the metal, called Dalekanium? Boom! You can get Dalekanium in this mod. It's so beautiful. Anyway, this is a Dalek pumpkin. A pumpkin made to look like a Dalek. I, I don't even want to look at it. It's so It's so stupid. Well, it's just ugly. It's just really ugly. I'm sorry for any background noise you're getting. Anyway, this is called steel. This is a steel block. I don't think there's a steel ore in this mod, honestly. Yeah, there's no steel ore. I don't know how you get steel. Um, I don't know how you get steel. But anyway, that's the steel block. I don't know how you get it. I don't know how you make it. That's up to you guys. This is the Dalganium block that you get, obviously, from Dalganium ore. And, uh, there are Donald Ganyam ingots and pieces and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's all the blocks, and they're all just kind of there to build with and have fun. Obviously. Now, we move on to some of the decorations. Now, this is a torch. It's just a torch. You, you can see it's just somehow, it's not even a working torch, it's, it's just a torch. And uh, once again, I'm sorry for any background noise you're getting. You might be getting some more background noise for a while, unfortunately. But, uh, this is the Peter Cushing movie doctor. I don't... I, I'm assuming that means he's the doctor from the movie. And it's just a statue. Just a really nice statue. And then you get the 11th doctor, Matt Smith. And you get the 12th doctor, who I know people do not like. All just really very nice statues. You can also get a... What's this called? The Special Weapons Dalek statue. Doesn't really look like a Dalek to me, but, I mean, I have not seen a Special Weapons Dalek before. So, that's just me. We're just gonna leave those there for, obviously, decoration. This is just the Dalekanium ingot, the Dalekanium nugget, and the steel ingot. And nugget. And here's all the armor and weapons that you can get in this mod. So, let me just put on this full set of steel. And, as you can see, I look incredibly sexy. I am Steel Man. Steel Man! Uh, uh, F1. There we go. And, um, this gives you... Let's see how many uses this has. Um, here, uh, let's just... Zambi. Hit me. Oh, wait. Game mode. Zero. Uh, Hi. Okay, uh, 363 uses on the helmet, 528 on the chest plate, 225 on the leggings, and 195 on the boots. So. As you can see, it's not that good. Now, here's the Dalekanium. Uh, time set 14,000. Game mode 0. Wanna hit me? There we go. Whoa, 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 I just lagged. Time set 0. Game mode... Mode 1. Dalekanium has 363 on the helmet. 528 on the chest plate, 495 on the boots, on the leggings, and, no, 429 on the boots, and, yeah. So, it's better on the leggings and the boots than the steel, but other than that, it's not much better. And, uh, the Dalekanium Sword is 6 attack damage, and Ace's Baseball that has 4, so the Dalekanium Sword is not quite as good as a Diamond Sword, and Ace's Bat is as good as a Wooden Sword. So, I mean, you can see... How that works. So Dalekanium Sword is four hits on a zombie. And Ace's Baseball Bat. One, two, three, four, five. Five hits on a zombie. Okay. Goody. Anyway. That was all the combat stuff. 
Let's put that all away, because I don't even want to see that anymore. A man who never would build the society. A man who never would. Now we get to get to some of the really fun stuff. We get to do some of the mobs. So, I'm sorry, this just makes me very, very happy. So first, we're going to spawn a 60s Dalek. Wow, what are you? Your aim is horrible. You, you need to die, I'm sorry. Destroy? And they drop a solid game and gets- What? What is that? What keeps exploding? I don't even know. Exterminate! That's a drone Dalek. That's the correct word. Hi. Hi. You gonna shoot it? Why don't you shoot it? Why don't you actually shoot it, dude? Go for it! There we go! Your aim is sucky. What do you drop? Come on, let me, let me, let me... Emergency that was kinda cool. But it's got, it drops all aim, all can aim, and it's also... Exterminate. This is an eternal Dalek. And it's basically the same as the drone Dalek. Emergency temporal shift! Oh, that's so cool, they can teleport away? Oh, that's awesome. Anyway, this, Exterminate. this is a time war Dalek. I don't think you can turn- yeah. And he has less de less health. Uh, this is a renegade- A renegade Dalek, and I'm pretty sure- Exterminate. No? Will they not fight? Oh, I thought they would fight. Anyway, I'm not gonna bother hurting that one because he's got a cool name. This is an 80s Dalek with a really weird sound also. What do you drop? What do you drop? Let me know. Let me know. Come on, let me kill you, thank you. He drops Dalek Anium apparently also, so you know what, he's not that interesting. Exterminate. The Supreme Dalek, who I am not going to kill just out of sheer respect. I'm sorry. But this is the Supreme Dalek. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, now I have to kill you. Nope, sorry. You you imprisoned the tenth doctor, who was one of my favorites. You you would get you you're you're you have gotta die, I'm sorry. One thing I'd fix in this mod is it's almost impossible to hit the Daleks. It's really hard to be able to do it. But uh that was the Supreme Dalek, who is basically the leader of the Daleks other than their creator. This is the I thought I already spawned the eighties Dalek. Yeah, I did. Anyway, this is the. Oh, well, stop! What did it ever do to you, dude? Dude. Well, I'm not gonna do anything to him. You know, I'm too, I'm too scared of him. Anyway, this is a Centauran. Oh, how did you? How... Where? 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 How? Centaurans can't teleport. They don't have that ability. Come here. Come here. Come here. D where are you, little stinker? You're not worth it. Well, that was all those mobs. The Centaurans, basically a war race. I don't know why it looked like that. It looked really strange. Okay. Uh, Weeping Angel, Empty Child, Cybermen, Clockwork Droid, Auden, Canine, Empty NPC, Adipose, and Zygon. Okay, so first is the famous and only Weeping Angels. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi, What you doing? What you doing? So if I
he should be changing his pose. I don't know why he's not. Um, can I not hurt you if I, does, does this work? Oh, okay, it does kill them. I would have thought, like, a pickaxe would do more danger damage, but that's what the Weeping Angel is, I guess. Okay, this is the Empty Child. Are you my mommy? No. Are you my mommy? I'm not your mother. No, God. You're so creepy. It's so creepy. Cyberman! Oh, you used to have a much better look to you. Yeah, I like the walking sound. It's just like it is on the TV, on the show. Yeah, oh yes, and the Daleks and the Cybermen will fight each other, which is really cool. Because they're like, they're enemies, and it's really cool that they'll do that. Apparently this Dalek... Apparently this Dalek has like a crap aim. What you shooting at over there, dude? Just shooting at me. Can I help you? Can I help you? There we go. You're welcome. Okay. What happened with a couple dollars? Cybermen. Where'd the fire come from? Okay, so the Daleks are really supreme to them. Anyway, here is a clockwork droid from when the Doctor met, um, I can't remember what queen it was, but this, these are, these guys are creepy, do they? No, they only have one look, but these guys are really creepy. Yeah, and they don't drop anything, apparently. Other than XP. You're, you're so creepy looking, I'm sorry. You're just really weird. Now, I don't know what an Auden is. What are you? What are you? I don't know. But it, it, it looks really cool. K9? Affirmative, Master. Oh, I love you. Affirmative, Master. Power supply failing. Aww, I love, I love K9. And I'm pretty sure he will, um... fight Daleks for you or something like like game mode zero uh. hi Did... excuse me oh. yeah see Kanon will fight him for you I can kill the K the Dalek, but K9 will fight them for you, which is really really awesome because K9 is awesome and a badass. So that was K9. And I, am my mommy. I don't know why they sound like the child because they're the they're the regular people. Well, that's this basically the same thing. And then these are the adipose, which are literally just pieces of fat. In fact, K9 is basically like a uh, automatic. Um, he's basically an automatic um, tame wolf or something like that. Okay, now it's time for the Zygon. I've heard of the Zygon before. I can't remember what they are. Oh, you ugly, ugly thing! Oh my God, what are you and why are you? No. Ugh. 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 
Oh, what, what are you, why are you, and why were you ever? Oh, that thing was so ugly. Okay, now we get to go to some of the other, obviously, oh, others, obviously. I'm gonna save this one for last, because I think it might be, like, a boss or something. I don't know what Ironside is. The Silence. Now, I haven't seen the Silence in an episode yet, but... Oh my god! Oh my god, yeah, don't go near- did all my stuff burn? No! Zygon, Sontar, and Silence. Whisperman! Cell Guard! Wait, I didn't have the Cell Guard. Cell Guard doesn't sound cool. Cleaner! Time Lord! Uh... Clara! Ice Warrior! Uh... What else did I have? Unit Personnel, I think. Snowman! Uh, what else did I have? Hmm. Iron. And then... Diamond. Okay, where were we? What's this? The Whisperman, right! Wonder what this guy is! Oh, good! Ah! You're gonna murder me? Come on. Yeah. Okay, so he's not that dangerous, I guess. But the silence, don't go even near that guy. Cleaner. What? <laughs> it's got a little face. Is this hostile? I hope not. Yes. Ah! Why are you hostile? Jerk. Okay, what do I have here? Oh, Time Lord. Hi! Ow! Ah! Time Lords are gonna hurt you too? God, is everything in this mod hostile? Aww. I just killed the less living Time Lord other than the doctor. Clara! Companion. You gonna follow me? You follow me, Clara? Clara! Oh, she's slow as crud, but yeah, I guess. I'm, I'm sick of being in game mode zero. Ice Warrior! What? How are you an ice warrior? What are you? Oh my god, you know what? You're too ugly to look at. Ew. Unit personnel, I guess, is just like a soldier. And then, snowman! Uh well, you're creepy as heck! Go away. Ironside, let's go away from uh, this showcase area, because I think Ironside's a boss. Do you attack? <coughs> oh! Yes, yes you do! I'm gonna look up who Ironside is, I'll be right back. Okay, so apparently Ironside was some ruse by the Daleks right after the episode that I'm on. 
or something. I don't really understand it, but I guess I'll understand it once I watch that episode. Or maybe, probably not. Okay, now these are just some miscellaneous items. Miscellaneous items. Forest in a box. I'm gonna go far away from the showcase area to show you this. I don't really know what it does. What? What did I do? Oh no, what did I do? Oh, what? where am I going? Oh. Okay. I'm down. I'll be back once this loads. Okay, so it's loaded, and it looks like it literally just took me to a... Forest. Like, there's literally nothing else. It's just a really large taiga forest. I don't know why it's taiga, but... This is all there is. Like, I mean, I guess this is helpful if you need wood, but I don't really see any other purpose to this. And I haven't seen an episode. Oh, okay. Is it? Is the? Nope. Okay. Just a loading error. Well, I mean, I guess that's all that was. So that also lagged the crap out of me. Just FYI. And we're back here. Okay, so, I need TARDIS key. Oh, River's Diary. I didn't see that. Hologram. I didn't even see the hologram either. And these, I'm pretty sure you just used to build Ironside. The Dalek sections. In fact, I can test that. Dalek section, Dalek section, Dalek section, Dalek section. And then, crafting bench. So let's see, Dalek section, Dalek section, Dalek section, Dalek section, no? Is that wrong order? No? It's not how you do it? Is that not correct? Okay, silly me, I guess. I guess I'm just stupid for hoping that that would be something. Okay. Anyway, this is a hologram. It's got a really cool animation now that I think about it. It's really cool. Hey, wait, does that just make it stronger? Yeah, I, I really like that. That's really cool. Uh, River's Diary. Regenerate to... Wait, what? Oh! I can become the doctors. I'm I'm Christopher Eccleston. Now I'm David Tennant. Now I'm Matt Smith. Now I'm an old guy. I am me. I am the first doctor. I am the second doctor. I am the third doctor. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Wait. Please, 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 please. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Oh, I'm really glad I found that out, that I can do that. I'm really glad I found that out. That's so cool. Okay, that is definitely something you guys have got to see. What is the... Tartus key doesn't do anything. I don't think. Does it... Does it just, like, call the TARDIS? Is it one of those things that you can only use in survival? Can I not enter the TARDIS without it? Might as well find out, because I'm going into the TARDIS anyway. Nah. I mean, I guess you guys are just going to have to figure that one out for yourselves. Now, let's figure out what the moment is. And what did I? What what the what the heck is this? What is this thing? What is this? What? I don't know what that is. Don't know. I don't care anymore. Let's just grab the time vortex manipulator. Oh yeah, there's also command blocks that you can use for making like your own TARDIS with the TARDIS blocks. And 
Let's go into the first hardest. At least this is the first hardest that there was in transportation. So, um... Any second now. Yeah, the loading time to get into New Dimensions is a while. Oh, this is not the first TARDIS. This is, uh, Christopher Eccleston's TARDIS. Again, really creative designs on anything. These are all hand-built, I'm assuming. And I really like it. It's it's really cool. And this you can use to figure out the destination you want. And yes, I will be showing you all the worlds. Don't worry. And it actually extends the TARDIS. I've already explored all of the TARDIS before. But, um, I'm gonna let you guys explore the exterior, the outer parts of the TARDIS yourselves, because I'm not going to extend this video for a buttload of time, because I don't have that much time in the video. Back to the overworld! Whew! I think I'm gonna show you the other worlds in another video, because this one's already gone for, like, past 45 minutes-ish. And that's a really, really long... Actually, you know what? Nah, if I'm gonna go for that long, I might as well go full out. So, as soon as we get back to the overworld. I'll be right back as soon as the overworld loads. Oh, oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, that's another thing. The TARDIS will appear. It's so cool. Okay, second TARDIS. Ninth and tenth Doctor's TARDIS. This is my personal favorite. And it's obvious why. It's so cool. You can go down below. You can... Oh my god, it's just so cool. I'm gonna... Turn off my bobbing. Oh, well, I mean, if I set that to normal, that might help. This one I'm gonna show you guys around a little bit, because it's awesome. You can go down here, and there's... Just a... I'm sorry. There's a bed area, which is awesome. Actually, I don't think I'm going to show you around because I think that might be what's lagging me, being inside the TARDIS, unfortunately. But I'm, I don't care. It's Is that a tree? I don't know what that is. I'm assuming that's some sort of Gallifreyan thing. But anyway, I will be back as soon as I get out of the TARDIS. And we're back, and the TARDIS is here. And now we get to the first TARDIS ever created. <laughs> yeah, this one's very plain. But, I mean, this is the first TARDIS ever created, so... Back out of this one. <laughs> There's not much in there. At all. So, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back out of the TARDIS, and before I show you the Time Vortex Manipulator thing, I want to show you Bessie. A big, old, freaking car. That goes, like, ultra-fast, and can go through mobs, and we'll go up a mountain for you. Legitimately, we'll go up mountains. No, don't, don't turn that way, Bessie. Stupid little car. But watch, literally, like, um... Like, I'm not even pressing the space bar right now. It'll go up, like... Here, let me show you. Oh, that's kind of... weird. But if I was to do... This... Say... Ah, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in it. Okay. Bessie can go right up. Just right up of it. And I guess don't really use it to, uh, get places, because it won't work, apparently. So, now let's use the Time Vortex Manipulator. To, uh get to the original Minecraft, apparently, which is called Cave Game, and it looks really weird. It's really kind of strange. It's kind of reminiscent, sort of like you're in a dream, 
is what it looks like, honestly. Um, it's taking a while to load, but I'm not gonna pause the video now, because I kind of sat through probably what's half of it. Nah, I'm gonna... Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, look, pigs! Can I... What? What's happening? Ah! Okay, I'll be back as soon as this loads correctly. Okay, it loaded, and it's really, really trippy. It kind of hurts my eyes a little bit. I also don't think there are any... Oh, never mind. There are caves. Oh, yes, it's got the old gravel. The good gravel. The good gravel texture. The one that made sense. The one that looked like gravel. Oh, cave sounds. Good. But other than being really trippy and kind of reminiscent, I don't really think there's much to it. I mean, it's not really a place to go to actually do something. It's just kind of there. So I don't under really understand why it's even here. Because the 9 Vortex Manipulator in the show is kind of just used to, you know, go to a different dimension. This is a different dimension. This isn't really a different dimension. This is a... This is sort of just the past. So, I mean, it's really just kind of trippy. It's not creepy. It's not a different dimension at all, honestly. It's, it's literally the same dimension, and there's not much to the caves. So, back to the overworld. And we'll go to Gallifrey, Scarrow, and Trenzalore. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We're gonna use this TARDIS, because it's my favorite. It's my favorite, because it looks really cool. And it's also really detailed in here. I've actually built the TARDIS. But, uh, that's a different story. Anyway, there are also some kind of some, uh, like, random blocks that you can't really touch or get. Anyway, so to get to a different dimension, you go to either this monitor or that monitor. I'm going to use this one. Oh, it actually has numbers. So it's hard to set for Scaro, the home world of the Daleks. Let's go. I'll be right back as soon as it loads. <laughs> okay, we're here, and it's loading, and it's taking a while to actually load correctly. But, um, yeah, so you can already see that there are Daleks, because this is the home world of the Daleks. Scarrow is Daleks. Stupid creatures. Destroy everything you see! What the? Oh, yes, also on Scarrow, the clock and the uh, compass can't really tell what's happening, which I thought was a really cool thing. I thought that was a really cool add-on. I thought that was really great attention to detail. Yeah, and see, that one can't either, which is so cool. It's so cool. But, um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be loading correctly. Hello, Dalek. Oh. Ah! What? We spawned inside something. Where's the TARDIS? Are we in a cave? Where's the TARDIS? Where's the TARDIS? Yeah. Well, we're lost. No TARDIS. Might as well get out my sonic screwdriver. My bow tie and my fez and this diary and as soon as we get up here I'll show you what I did you probably already know it cuz you can see hello I'm the doctor I'm the doctor, everybody. But anyway, as you can see, here's a Dalek. Hello. 
Um, I really wish I could get to the overworld. You know, part of the... Part of Scaro. I've seen the overworld part of Scaro. If I can just, you know, get there, that'd be really great. Is there no upper part of Scaro? Yeah, here it is. There we go! It's covered in sand. And all these dogs are just kind of standing around. You guys glitched? Yeah, there aren't many Daleks. Oh yes, and there are Daleks of different kinds, obviously. This is a special weapons Dalek. You gonna gonna do something about that? Dalek. Oh, lag spike. Yippee. Yeah, I'm just a doctor passing through all the Daleks, not being noticed at all whatsoever. How stealthy am I, guys? There's no audio right now for them. What is that sound? None of you are making audio. What's that? What kind of Dalek is this? Why am I lagging? Turn the brightness up. What kind of Dalek are you? Suicide Dalek! One of those dogs that will literally just kind of commit suicide. Wish I could stop lagging. <laughs> wow, Scaro's laggy. Okay. Let's get out of here. No, wait. Tardis. First one. Boom. In. <laughs> In the Tardis. Be right. Oh no, it's loaded. Yeah, the more you go there, the more loaded it. The faster it's easy. The faster it loads. Okay, so we're on Scaro. Let's go to Trenzalore. I don't know what Trenzalore is. Let's go there anyway. Let's go to Trenzalore anyway. Be back as soon as it loads. I think I just made it to the home of the Weeping Angels. I don't know who Rufus is. Oh, okay. Oh, and there are Daleks. What are you, a stone Dalek? Yep. Yeah, that's a stone Dalek. And this is definitely 100% the home of the Weeping Angels. Oh! Oh! The lag. Oh, God. I'm gonna retreat to the TARDIS. The only thing with color... Yeah, I also think they saw the Whisper Men here. You can see right there. Oh, fudge. Come on, make the. Hey, yo. Yeah, oh. Let's see if I can get them to make the face. Hey. Why am I not the 11th Doctor anymore? Fudge, you're not gonna be able to see it up close, I'm sorry guys. I can't get them to do it! Wonder if you got them to look at each other, what would happen? In the mod. Anyway, back to the TARDIS! Now, I'm going to make every Whovian watching this cry. I'm sorry, everybody, but it's got to be done. Let's just get back to River's Diary. Make the... Make me the 11th Doctor again. And... Let's go to Gallifrey. The home of the Doctor, the only planet that Time Lords exist in, and the best planet on the face of the universe. Be back as soon as it loads. The sky was burnt orange. I kind of just killed the mood. Oh no. Oh no.
Oh no. Oh no. There it is. The sky was burnt orange. Under. Um. Two blazing suns. As the leaves, the silver leaves on the trees, glistened underneath. It's so beautiful! <laughs> and the sad thing is there are no Time Lords. In fact, I'm pretty sure that... I think, because I've been on this, in this place before, I think there might be Daleks somewhere, but anyway, that was the Dalek mod. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you like these mod showcases, I will definitely do more of them. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and this is CIJ Gaming Jason, signing off.